So what's up, for? Not much. Dad can't come anymore just because the fights <laughs> are like too much for him. So that's kind of where the emotions are for him, uh, right? Yeah, I get pretty nervous. <laughs> pretty nervous. I mean, two guys fighting, one of them is going to get hurt more than the other one. But I hope neither one of them gets hurt too bad. Just one wins. Yeah. Yeah. When I've gone to some of Corey's events, I can't sit. I get up there and pace back and forth, and they say, you can't be here. You have to go to a seat. And yeah, I got a lot of nervous energy, but. All right, let's roll. Right, guys? All right, Carl. I'll see you All later. Right, see ya. Yeah, thanks for everything. Yep. Get it, dude. Yep. If you need anything, just holler. Okay. Here, I'll give you a call. See you in a few days. Yep. I'll probably call you Friday just to see when we get more information. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because they know what time it is. He, like, Marley always starts acting all weird, like, a couple of days before I leave. I think because I get skinny and he notices it. And he probably well, does. Marley needs to get through. skinny. <laughs> He's put on some weight. It's been the COVID weight, man. And I'm going to talk. <laughs> He's been on the Apple diet. All right, see you guys. Later. Yeah, the opportunity is massive. It takes a lot of hard work in order to even get a title shot, let alone win a title shot. So I'm just really, really grateful, man, that I'm that guy that gets to do that. And I think that the way that I've done that is just always doing things like a champion. I, I've always put in camps like a champion. I've always worked hard like a champion. I've always made corrections and been really hard on myself just like a champion. And I think that that's the reason I'm fighting for this belt now. The USO has two locations at O'Hare International Airport. The USO in Terminal 2 is located outside of security. So this morning, Megan gave me a bunch of workouts, like mobility things, stability things, just to make sure that, you know, I'm not getting all, like, twisted up and stuff on the flight. we got, like, another 13 hours of travel. So I'm just trying to make sure that I'm doing all the right things. Attention passengers, smoking is not allowed. Yeah, I'm, of course, thinking of the fight every now and then uh, on the way over to Chicago, which is where we are now. I, I, Made some notes, you know, went over like, hey, this is how you win, this is what he's good at, this is what you're good at, all of that jazz. So anytime I start to feel myself get too far off, you know, thinking about the fight or being focused on the fight or whatever, usually I'll write something down in my journal or I'll close my eyes and just go over the fight quickly just to make sure that, you know, my mind, body, and spirit are all in the same direction as far as, yeah, me taking this win this weekend. Huh? Bah! Yeah, same, eh? Same size as always, right? Yeah. Didn't change. You gonna do this, mm -hmm. right? And when you look at Jan, he's obviously been on a similar journey to you. You take inspiration from his story? Yeah, Jan and I have a similar, you know, career in UFC. Ups and downs, and uh, we show a, a big comeback. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can he even say, uh, let's show those young guys uh, <laughs> how to fight? Don't need to talk and do all the clown stuff over here. Well, I'm not against it, but also it's like, if you're gonna do that, show up in a fight, and that's what we're all about. We go after finish, we go after KO, submission. I feel bad, gonna, gonna have to take the title away from him, but hey, now it's my time. <laughs> hey, man. That's cool, man. <laughs> that's why you use it to cook my potatoes, huh? <laughs> it's like... <laughs> It's like, oh, oh potato for Glover. Oh. Uh, uh. Ah, mano, tem um lugar na sua casa, na academia, que você coloca os postos tudo, ou você guarda? Na minha cama, do lado da minha cama, no, eu até hoje não enquadrei. Eu enquadro, tipo, a luva ou um short com as fotos da, da luta, assim. <laughs> save your energy, don't walk so fast. Or you, if you don't want to save yours, save mine. <laughs> yeah, so you mentioned that your father, you're a star in your country, and you're also the champion of the UFC light heavyweight division. What are you most proud of? Uh, that I don't quit, that I don't uh, you know, surrender, that I don't stop believing myself, in my skills. You know? This is I'm most proud. You know, your opponent, Glover, is a guy with a similar story. He's someone that has never quit on himself. What, what kind of respect do you do you have for him? I've got a lot of respect to him. Uh, I like him. You know, he's a great fighter, but that don't change anything. 
inside octagon, I will try to knock him out. The most important thing is that then, then I'm look good on the, the photo. <laughs> How's it going? Good. Hey, how's that? Hi. How are you? Good. Which side? Just here, please. Which matchups excite you? Leo, uh, Jorge, uh, Nate? Would you fight Nate? Yeah, this would be cool to fight with him. I like fight with these guys, you know, like play the gangsters and like <laughs> But I'm real gangster here. <laughs> I eat the gangster for breakfast. <laughs> That's why I'm here. I'm nine fights, nine finishes. I'm here to kill. I eat his horn and take his head. I'm the warrior. Woo! Я, да, я стараюсь особо не фокусироваться на своих оппонентах. Я, в принципе, в тренировочном процессе стараюсь делать все. Да, мы внесли некие корректировки, так скажем, для поединка с Кори, но у меня настрой один – это забрать этот пояс, а с кем мы будет проходить поединок для меня не особо важно. То же самое, как обычно. Но я на этом не концентрируюсь, я стараюсь в поединке работать от ситуации. И вскоре то же самое, будем работать везде. Но цели не было такой, что считали лучшим, но время покажет. В принципе, говорить о себе самому некрасиво, я думаю, дела покажут и расскажут за нас. Since he's in UFC, I've been following very close, and he made it into fight for the title with John Jones. You know, then he came back and did again. That's really hard to do, you know, twice. You know, Tauro is a great energy man. This guy is the most humble, simple guys I I know. He's just like us, you know, the same mentality. Well, and he's a legend, man, and, um, uh, you know, he's an idol, you know. But when the guy tried to put his arm there, I push and put my elbow over to the elbow. Like, like that. When I was starting jiu-jitsu, he was already a great champion of pride. And sometimes, like, uh, the comebacks that I had in my last few fights, and some people told me, like, I remind them of Minotauro, and it's like, My heart feel of happiness when they say that, so it's, it's pretty good. You know, all the, the fight action movie, the guy get beat up for us and then they... And then come back. People they, like the, 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 the come back. Rocky, Rocky uh, Van Damme, you know, I, all I, those no, movies. No, no, uh, no, no, no. Those movies are life lasting, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, no matter how much you get beat up, it's, it's always a comeback, it's always a way back, you know? It all depends on head and heart. Hulk Bob War. Hulk Bob War. You can say he's a Hulk Bob War. 